Okay, so today, obviously you can see by the title, I'm gonna be making, a, uh, I'm gonna be showing you all how to create um, alerts on TradingView. Um, and specifically uh, alerts where you'll get notification by text, or even it can be through the app if you have, you know, trading a new app on your phone. Um, okay, so it, it's pretty simple, honestly. And for me, honestly, it, it took me a while to kind of uh, figure this out. Uh, or, you know, there's, there wasn't any video on it really that I seen. I mean, there may be now, but I don't know, back when I was trying to search for it, there wasn't a video about how to, you know, uh, uh, make, uh, how to do alerts for um, TradingView. So if you have the free version of TradingView, I believe you only get two, uh, you're only able to create two alerts. Um, it may be four, I'm not exactly sure, it's either two or four. But once you, you know, you buy like the, the minimum, you know, TradingView um, uh, accounts, um, you can get up to 10 alerts. Um, so, which that's kind of nice, obviously, if you trade multiple pairs or, you know, if you're trading a bunch of different pairs and whatnot. Um, but even on a free version, you know, two or four or whatnot um, alerts is still, you know, good enough. Um, I know there are a few apps out that kind of, that you know, can alert you to uh, when price uh, reaches a certain level. Um, but in my opinion, um, trading view is, is the best. Um, I don't know, some of those apps, you know, they're kind of, you know, don't know, really know who makes them. Um, you know, they're kind of, and some of them make cost or whatnot. Um, and I've had, I've used one and it's been kind of like delayed. So, yeah. Um, so TradingView, that's why I like TradingView is the best. Uh, so whatever, you know, chart uh, or pair you're wanting to create an alert for, I mean, obviously this can go for stocks, you know, any type of uh, financial instrument that TradingView has, you can create an alert for, uh, you know, if you're looking to trade it or whatever the reason is, you know, for you wanting to, you know, be alerted whenever price reaches a certain, uh, you know, price point. Um, so you'll go up to alert right here, you'll click it, and uh, you know, you'll have obviously your, your pair right here or your instrument, obviously if you're not trading currencies, you'll have the option to have different ones uh, or different options of when to be alerted by you know, price. Um, I typically leave it up on crossing um, and all of, I mean, you can just leave it on, it'll be in general uh, default on crossing and you can kind of leave it on that, um, you know, if you want, because this is basically, this is just when price reaches this point, essentially you're going to get alerted. Um, so, and you can, I'll tell you why you can, you know, leave it on this default setting crossing um, in, in the, when I go down here and explain a little bit more. And then obviously they have, how you want to be alerted by value or volume. I don't really know what volume, what this would actually mean, honestly. Uh, I stick to value, which is basically just the price, uh, you know, the number basis of, uh, of, you know, whatever instrument I'm wanting to be alerted on. Um, and then it'll be on only once. So you can have it where, you know, uh, every time price comes to this, um, this you know this point or this area whatever specific price you're wanting to be alerted at um or you can do only once you know depending on what your you know depending on your i don't know what you're trying to uh, be notified for like what you're looking for you know if you think price is gonna you know if you're waiting for price to like retest the area twice or something like that or come to a certain point twice then obviously you can do every time um, obviously, if you're just looking for like a one and done, once price to reach this area, and then you can hop on the charts, um, then you know only once. Um, so yeah, then you can you know they have the date of here when you can expire. So you know, say Sunday you come, and you know today's the eighth. Say you know Sunday you come on the charts, mark them up, whatever you see, you're and you're looking for price to reach a certain point until Friday. So you can just click you know until Friday. Um, at whatever time or you know you can even just do Saturday and, and you know 
uh, you're, you're waiting for price to reach a certain point uh, in that, you know, trading week, you know, um, or you can have it extended, obviously, if you're trading, you know, larger time frames uh, and whatnot. And then right here, you have the alerts, how you'll be notified. Um, and right here, it'll be notified on app. Uh, so like I said, if you have the app on your phone, uh, even if you don't necessarily use it because, you know, honestly, the TradingView app on the phone is, I mean, it, I've used it um, occasionally, but not really, not like to mark up charts or anything that, like that. It's just more so to kind of see, you know, where price is at. Um, you know, and kind of ha uh, how the candlesticks form, because in my opinion, you know, the candlestick formations on TradingView are sometimes are clearer than they are on the MT4 app or even MT5 app. In my opinion, um, you know, sometimes you'll have, you know, for example, like a Doji or something form on the four hour on the TradingView, um, but you know on mt4 or mt5 it won't the candle won't you know close like that or it won't be shown to be a doji so you know i don't know that's that's just my you know experience with it um also um obviously you can have notify on that you can have send email uh, but obviously you know nobody has alerts on the emails you know you'll be getting a ton at least i think you know at least I think most people would. And then right here, my favorite one, this is why I love TradingView uh, alerts is because you can do send email to SMS, which is essentially you'll get a text message. And um, yeah, that, that's my favorite. And if you don't know how to set this up, I'll show you, um, I'm gonna put in some clips uh, here after this to show you how to exactly set up, you know, getting a text message to uh, sent to your um, phone uh, because essentially what you do is every phone number if you did not know this um, I've known this for three years now uh, just because I used to utilize this option but every phone um, you can actually well I'm pretty sure you can text back to yeah yeah every phone can receive text from an email like you can legitimately send somebody a message through your email. If you don't have a phone, you can send them like a text message through your email. All you need to, every phone carrier has their, at least I think every carrier has like an apps, you know, whatever.com, you know what I'm saying? Like at Gmail. Um, but you know, for, for example, obviously Sprint is merged with T-Mobile, but for Sprint, it's like something at Sprint.com, you know? Um, and like Boost Mobile, it's like at Boost Mobile. Your, your phone number, including the um, these area code uh, and your phone number is at you know boostmobile.com or something like that. But I will sh share um, a link um, in the description below that will have, you know, it should have all or at least the majority of, you know, the like uh, text to email, um, addresses so that way you can look for your you know carrier and uh, set it up yourself and right here the best thing I love about it is like I said right here uh, whatever you choose up here it'll kind of show up right here like that but I just leave it at crossing and for example you can have USD you see prices at 105.9 okay so say we want price to reach 106 just for the sake of this video 106 100 you see it's slightly above here um, just for example um, you can have you can leave crossing right here if you like because whatever shows up right here is going to want to is what's going to show up in the text message that you receive from trading view so obviously you can change this um, you can put you know uh, usd jappy you know or you can even just change it to uj but Anyway, USD, Jappy, at 106.100. Um, and you can even type something out, type something to yourself right here um, to be like a reminder, you know, so that way um, you kind of get, uh, you know exactly what you possibly could be looking for. Uh, I said possible, question mark, that was stupid. Possible shorts, uh, but what you can possibly, you know, uh, anticipating to, to, you know, the type of trade to, 
anticipate to take um, so that way you don't you don't get confused because honestly when I was first setting up these alerts all I was doing or I didn't I didn't I don't know I didn't really pay attention to this right here honestly I didn't it wasn't I don't know why I just ignored it but obviously after I continued to use them and I seen oh I can change this thing right here and you know it'll kind of it'll give me uh, it'll give me like a um, I'm not forgot the words I'm looking for. It'll let me know why I'm looking for price reaches or what I'm looking to do when price reaches this level. Um, so obviously this is, you know, a price is, you know, coming up to a, a level above. Obviously, you, maybe you're looking for shorts, you know, you may be looking for continuation. I don't know. Whatever it is you're looking for, you can type it in here, right here. And, you know, that way whenever price reaches this level, you'll know, say you're somewhere out and about or whatnot, you know, you'll get the notification on your phone and, you, and then you'll know, okay, price reaches this level and this is what I'm, you know, anticipating possibly to happen when price, you know, once this level was reached, you know, so that way you can hop on the charts if you're not busy, obviously, um, and, you know, you know, look to make, you know, uh, a trade. So. Yeah, uh, in the next clips, like I said, it'll I'll show you exactly how to do the SMS to uh, email to text message. Um, and because I'm putting inputting uh, screenshots because there's like video or I don't know how to like blur out the video of like my private information when I go over to show you guys. So it'll just be, um, you know, screenshots for you all. Um, overall, you know, thank you guys for watching this video. If you, you know, if it was helpful, leave a thumbs up, you know, um, subscribe to the channel, uh, share it if you found it helpful to other traders. Um, and like I said, look out for the link below uh, for, you know, the carrier to, for the email to SMS uh, link with all the, you know, at least all or most carriers. Uh, so yeah, thanks. Uh, for watching and catch y'all on the next one.